In 2001, Peru announced that they'd found giant fossilized clamshells way up in the Andes Mountains, and I'd been fascinated ever since. I wanted to see them, so in 2021, I hunted them up. All I had was one article in Spanish, a couple of photos, and knew that they were somewhere way up in the Andes Mountains, somewhere between Pampas and Colcabamba. Problem is, I didn't realize how tough it really was going to be to get there. The roads got narrower and narrower, and then they got muddy because they turned from asphalt to just plain mud, and it dropped off. As we got up to the 4,000 meter area, I'm thinking, man, it can't possibly get any colder than this. We had to have our windows open because it was COVID and we were required by law to do that. I thought I'd freeze to death, but as we finally came down out the other side and started asking people where they were, it got even more discouraging because people were saying, oh, media aura, you know, half hour, half hour, but nobody knew exactly where they were and said, you know, a lot of people have taken them and used them as decorations on their lawns. So I don't know if there's more than two or three left. Well, about the time that I was going to give up and say, I don't think that we're going to find these, we came around a corner and found a whole bunch of them. So here's what I found. And I'd like you to weigh in and tell me what you think that they are. Now, they came in different sizes and thicknesses. Some were longer than others. Some were shorter. Literally, some were rounder. It was really quite random. I understand there being different sizes of oysters, but the different thicknesses is what confused me because, again, some of them were rounder and some of them were flatter. And to an untrained eye, I came away with the feeling that these looked like some kind of concretion. But for those of you that know what you're looking at, I would love to have you weigh in and tell me what you think. So if these are the right ones, because, again, I'm going just on very little information, then to me, they seemed like they were concretions that were coming out of the wall right here. Probably when they were doing the road, they were just dumping them all. I had seen these type of things, at least something similar up in Talara, way up in the north of Peru. So when I saw these sticking out, I thought, okay, well, it's just, you know, again, some kind of concretion. But the paleontologist said these are not only giant oysters, but this area of the Andes Mountains was once submerged underwater. The article said that they were up to 661 pounds and 11 and a half feet in circumference. I didn't do circumference, but I did have a measuring stick with me, and so I put it on three of the larger ones. This wasn't the largest, but these three were nice sized and sitting next to each other. They averaged about three feet in length. The largest one I measured was 68 inches long and 32 inches tall. I mean, it was pretty big. So that's it, folks. Let me know what you think. I'm curious, do these really look like oysters? Is there any way to definitively tell? I don't know if there's some testing that would need to happen. Maybe you guys would like to truck yourselves up there and examine them yourself. Let me know. I'll give you better directions.